free roam and, and adventure and shit. Um, also, if we played the DLC, but the DLC's included, right, in that, I think you were saying? Oh, the moving letters, that's what we were up to. Yeah, didn't it crash on me when I was doing moving letters, so I just fucked it off last time. Like a fucking pro. So, I'm already here. I've got to find these other dead letters, but I keep getting all these mass, mass jabronis coming at me. I uh, want to do a side stuff first after screwing myself on ME one like that. Yeah, for sure, man. That's so, like they should always, there should always be something fully to be like, yo, you can't come back after this. So finish your shit, you know. I don't mind break immersion, but for a game that big, you want to make sure you've done all your shit, you know. It's, it's annoying when you don't. Uh, you're gonna do some side stuff and resource gathering now and stream the main stuff enough time. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good shout. I mean, that's what I think what I pretty much ended up doing on, um, like, Cyberpunk. Although I didn't realise Cyberpunk side stuff would be pretty much its main shit, you know. I wonder if that will ever get the DLC that they did say they were going to bring out. Yeah, point of no return, yeah, they should always have the point of no return, like, it's rotten when they don't, man, for sure. It's all good and stuff, but like, where's these dead letters? Well, I'm in dead letters. Where's these moving letters? Sorry, I found one. I was moving picture, not moving, yeah. Was, yeah. I know, yeah, the DLC is included this time around. Okay, fucking A. You've actually played a MSC D DLC, uh, yes, say nice, that you definitely never played before. It was awesome. Definitely played all the DLC for ME2. Well, see, that's it. I know I I know 100% did the DLC for, for number three, because number three needs the DLC to be a complete story, otherwise, it's kind of a, a shit ending for a beautiful trilogy. Um, but yeah, now I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm sure I did do the Mass Effect 1 and 2's DLCs. But who actually knows? Yeah, I might be in the exact same boat as you and just be like, huh, this is all fairly new to me. <laughs> uh, I think I've already watched this one. I think I watched... Have I seen this one? If they made an actual TV series called The Threshold Kids that was this fucking creepy, I would watch the hell out of it. Yeah, I have watched that one. Alright. Look at this, they're all just set up to watch that shit. Hey, Mac! <laughs> Good joke, Mac. Good joke. I love it. Hey, and Dragon 517 thank you very much for the video raid there, dude. How are you doing today, my man? God damn, that was close. <laughs> Lovely to see you. And thank you very much for the shout. And thank you very much for doing a shout out there, dude. I appreciate it. And doing splendid, cheers. Just trying to find some moving letters that I can't find. But they are around somewhere. <laughs> but what are you playing today, dude? Oh, maybe they're upstairs. Oh, hello. What the fuck happened there? What did you do? Who was he shooting? Oh, it's not down there. Long range shorty. Long range shorty. Maybe I need to leave the room to find it. Machine gun. Could you wait? Like honestly, they're as bad as the cyber cop, uh, cyberpunk police in this game for sh for sure, man. They just appear behind you and like, ah, oh, I'm gonna shoot you now. Oh yeah, maybe I need to float up to get the shit. I keep forgetting I can do the float. Ah, oh, do the float. Um, doesn't seem to let me up there. Maybe I need to go in here and get up there. There is an upstairs there. 
Or is there? Well, it's not upstairs there. Uh, so I think I do need to still be in this room. Oh, you've been playing Days Gone! How is it? That always looked like a super interesting game, but um, it only recently came to PC, right? But yeah, how, how is it? I'm always, uh, I'm always interested to see if a zombie game is holding up, you know? And I think it's, it's like, nowadays you have to make, like, something quite special, I think, to really, like, stand on its own in the zombie genre. So this is another one of those you're not allowed to physically go higher than that moment, because I could do that from the floor. Oh, no, maybe, no, no, I was just being an idiot. It's no normal piece of paper. What piece of paper? I mean, those ones just fall into the ground. All right, let's go check this level first then. All right, cool. So a lot of this game, I just need to remember, I can do stuff that I keep forgetting. I, I didn't, oh, there's the plain paper there. Just get us up playing earlier after work, but you got slapped with a 10 gigabyte update on the PS servers. Yeah, on the PS servers, that's fucking brutal, dude. Um, at least you fixed the ME1 glitch where you couldn't buy the spec weapons. Oh, that's good, that was fixed, though. So you need to finish this game, you got five hours into this and got distracted. There's a lot to get distracted by for fucking real in this game, but um, it's really good. It like It's really fun. Weird as fuck. Okay, so we're just waiting for it to come back here. Heal! Heal! Alright, cool. Um, really enjoyed so far on PC. It's a great port and interesting story. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was the other side. Like, I didn't know if it'd been, like, built for the PC or if it'd been ported, but if it's a good port, that's pretty sick. Hey, and Skyfall, baby! How you doing today, my man? <laughs> As you can see, we're doing some adventures of Kara Watson at the moment. <laughs> um, did I... No, I haven't done that side, have I? No, I came up these stairs. Okay. Ooh. But how you doing, dude? Ooh, so we got fucking edible tacos now. Hell's yeah. <laughs> I also went, like... I have, um, I have a truck that I was using for, like... I brought a truck for mining... Um, and yesterday, with all of the new food inclusion, inclusions, I basically went round to like all of the new food places, got all of the stock that I thought I could do, I could resell at the um, the taco shop as well. So my my tr my truck, my 120 space truck, is completely and utterly filled with food, and <laughs> just like not even much, like 10 of each thing. There's so many things that we can sell at the taco shop. So I've got a bunch of stuff that's going to be regular items, like uh, the milkshakes and ice cream type stuff. Um, but then like I'm gonna like rotate. Stuff like buffalo wings, mac and cheese, um, maybe some, like, the, the Heart Buster Burger, because that's not technically Burger Shot labelled. I might put those as, like, special of the day, and then just charge more for them, yeah. You can run out a stable frame PS when streaming. Fucking A! That's the main thing, man. <laughs> Edible? I'm charging an extra 15 bucks for it now, but because some of the other prices have gone up too. But yeah, I think I'm charging $25 for a taco now. But they put the prices up on cola, man. I was buying colas for, I think I was buying colas for five dollars, and I was selling them for ten dollars, which is still a pretty good increase. Colas are now twenty dollars. So in order to to actually make money from those, I'm having to sell do uh, like cans of coke at twenty five dollars. You know, peaked out. But yeah, they're damn good though. They're worth it. Worth every penny. And we had a good amount of people, like, um, good amount of people actually coming in by them. I think I haven't, I basically need to let myself get really fucking hungry and, like, almost to the bottom and then eat. So I can see how much a taco actually fills your health. But some people who have tried it said their health was really low. And it actually, like, um, it actually, uh, did quite a lot for them. Well, that one was the easiest one. <laughs> this is going to be a can of coke with 250 bucks next year. Quite possibly, man, you know? Um, I mean, it depends as well, because I know, like, there's talk of, like, trying to have it so, like, we can get, like, hunters bringing their own meat and shit. Um, which would be cool, but then if it's, like, going to be... Like, they can get a lot more money for it elsewhere. Hey, and Beaver Fog! Thank you for the follow, buddy! How you doing? <laughs> Lovely to see you here. <laughs> but, yeah, like, um... Uh... So like if, if the like the hunters ones give like way better meat results then I'd have to charge like 
potentially a few hundred for a taco, because I'd need to give like a hundred just to the meat supplier kind of thing. I just want to get to a save point, so I don't have to worry. This is not a save point. Take that chair, bitch. Okay. Can say it's great to your fellow UK streamer. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to have uh, some from the home counties and shit, you know? Just have a quick chip. Nice, nice. And texture come, texture's coming along, man. Basically, like, so I was doing it all through said modeler. Um, turns out said modeler wasn't too great for it, and it wasn't actually exporting it at all of what I wanted. Plus, I don't think it would have actually held the collisions. So, um, basically, um, my buddy Kyle, um, so you might know him as Dale actually in the uh, in the server itself. Um, he's still a student, so he got um, he's able to get 3ds Max for free for a year, um, which is a program that then has uh, a plugin that can be used called Gims, which is apparently really good. Um, it's been good so far. Um, so like I got got that. I've basically I've learned how to like apply all the materials and stuff. So like say I've got my I've exported all my textures from Substance Painter. I know how to now apply those, you know, fully onto the model and shit. Um, and I know how to export and stuff. The problem I had was because the, the the model I was working on, um, it, um... Okay, so I'm going to lose my train of thought with all this violence. Um, <laughs> the model I was doing the textures on, um, that one itself, when I then tried... Because I tried just putting the textures on that and exporting that in the hope that it would work. But because we didn't import it through GIMS, I don't think it saved everything that you'd want, kind of thing. So like, um, I've basically had to re-import all of the t all of the models, and I just need to now UV and wrap those models, retexture them in Substance Painter, then export them through 3DS, which should make life like a lot easier. And like, although it's been a bit long setting it all up, um, once I've got this pipeline sorted, you know that is that is the pipeline sorted, and I should just be able to go cool. I now know what I'm doing every time and can be a lot quicker with it kind of thing. But I'm going to have to restart the textures again. And I'll be doing a test this time before I go hard on it again. But I can also... I can save myself some time by like... Um, creating some smart materials from the stuff I'd already done on the texture place. So like... For the exact scale and shit, I can already, already keep stuff like that. I just have to replace everything basically. Wait, now where is this teleport? I'm going like the completely wrong way, right? I was already there in Central Executive. There was already a thing in there. Why did I leave? Why did I leave, everybody? Why did I leave? Power punch. Oh, come on! It's crashed within like 20 minutes! I'm not even doing anything on the game. I just power punched some brick. My CPU, memory, and everything's completely fine. Fuck, man. It's uh, like, I'm pretty sure it's purely because it's the developer version, it's not the full release. On the, on the Xbox Game Store, Control isn't the full release, it's the development version. Literally says development version in the top corner. Um, the actual app on my home screen is called Control PC GP, um, which is PC Game Pass. It has its own version, rather than, so it's not the full, it's the same game, but like if I was to buy this game, just if I bought the game fully outright through even Xbox Game Store, I would have the fully released version. But because I'm doing the Xbox Game Pass, they give you this version, which is the developer version, which makes no fucking sense, like, at all. Like, why would you give away a different game? Like, it's the same missions and shit. Surely it's just, yeah, there are a lot more bugs and shit are fixed than the other one. Ridiculous. If you're going to play Control, super fun game, everybody. Really cool, like, um, really cool ideas and physics in it and stuff. But I would probably say try playing it on, through, like, Steam if you can. Just buy it through Steam, <laughs> like... I mean, maybe this is Control and I'm blaming Windows games, but every game I've played through the Windows Xbox Game Pass has had an issue, like, without a shadow of a doubt. It's either crashed, um, it's either that, or, like, the anti-cheat, anti-piracy stuff, like, fucks my OBS, um, or, like, you just can't get into multiplayer for love nor money, me. My punch was too powerful, too, too bad of a power punch, yeah. As, and you think about the meat. Yeah, well, I can 100%. I've got some really cool meat textures already set up. So I could 100% do the meat. I could do some cool uh, some cool tacos. I did actually download... Um, I downloaded a separate taco mod. Because I set up my own server just to... You know, I've done a lot to try and actually test it all. But, like, I set up my own server so I can test if it will run in a server. Um, and this one's in containment. But, like, um, 
so I put in one of the other Taco interior mods, I think maybe the original one, um, but there was one that had like, it was really weirdly laid out, and it had like walls inside, and it was cool in a way because it made the kitchen its own room, but they basically gave nowhere to order or anything, it was really weird, but there was like a couple of bits in that, there was like, there was some really good Taco models in that, like I was looking at it, I'm like, that is a, that's a sick Taco model, like what the fuck GTA, like surely someone's in, someone has to have injected this in, because there's no way GTA put that much time and effort in making a Taco look that nice. <laughs> Wow, wow. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> but it's not fair. <laughs> okay, let's go to logistics. Mmm. You got it on Steam. Okay, fucking A. You can buy it straight from the source or maybe even where the stuff is sold back to the other scripts. Um, do you mean the, like, taco interior? I've got the interior now. Like, I've got all the stuff that our server's using for the taco shop itself. So the exterior, the interior... The ballasts, like, you know, the, like, the, not the ballasts, the, the wooden beams, um, the counter, everything except the, uh, the wall items, like, yeah, you know, where it's just, like, you know, beer and, and whatnot. Um, uh, you may be on Steam to buy, you might buy on Steam to play the DLC, fuck yeah, man. Like, if you're gonna do the DLC, definitely let me know, because I probably, I don't know if I'll, I mean, maybe I'll buy this again, um, kind of thing, but, um, I definitely want to see the Alan Wake, like, DLC, I really want to see that, so, like, if, if you're gonna do that, I may well just, like, Fuck off everything I'm doing to try and watch all of those so I can see the story. <laughs> and I haven't seen no! I haven't no man! Who was it? Um It was either it was either Ralphie or Mesa. I think it was Ralphie. Turned up and like they said to me, Oh like, yeah, have you had the you tried the fish taco yet? And I was like, fish taco? And apparently, uh yeah, Snow gave him a fish taco and the picture was really weird. But I haven't seen that myself yet. But it did make me think, if I get a fish, can I use fish instead of venison now to make the taco? And in that case wouldn't make it a fish taco, so I need to do some experiment. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I've been wanting nowhere around me sells tacos. Do you know how much I've wanted a taco since like we started the role playing? <laughs> uh, and that's a ESX script. Uh, and for your info, buying to me. Ah, okay. Oh shit, Viva, you're helping. God, see, this is this is the issue. Like, Bakura used his name Baku in the game. That's cool. Skyfall uses Sky in the name. That's cool. I don't. Like, I don't think many people in the server know me as Fizzle. But then, like, I genuinely don't get, um... I always forget everyone's names. Like, even though I see Beaver Fug everyone, I'm like, yeah, I know that's someone in our lobby. Always forget it was, uh, Ralphie and Honeycut. Who I met very briefly. Do you think you snow forced it? Okay. So, yeah, I need to see if I can actually make that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> no, yeah, no Taco Bell. Well, there's a Taco Bell, um... There's a Taco Bell in a town... I mean, relative to, like, a different state, it's close. But it's still like a, I think it's like a 45 minute to an hour drive each way. Um, and there's no, like, I've heard Taco Bell, like, and I've asked Americans, and most Americans said if there's a Taco Bell near you, definitely eat there, it's alright. But it's not worth driving an hour out of your way each way to get Taco Bell. I'd have to buy a lot too, right? Because it's an hour drive back home. So I'd need to, like, buy enough food to eat on the way home and then have enough to eat when I get home, you know? <laughs> Joins up here as a character named Fizzle McCoy. <laughs> That would be a massive mindfuck. That that really would be a massive mindfuck. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> the power menu stuff is okay. Um, for... This game, or... Are we still talking about GTA? I am as dense as, as Ernest. Ernest Ernest isn't necessarily... He's dense. Sometimes I make him dense on purpose, but a lot of time it's just, it's just me. Um... Right, I need to go to sealed, fresh, fresh hold room. We need to deal with our fresh hold. Okay. Ah, Taco Bell. Okay, fair, fair. Power menu. Do they have a menu called Power Menu? Is that like their um? Is that like their equivalent to like McDonald's uh? Saver menu type shit. And Taco Bell. Okay. Sometimes you don't even think it's worth the five minute walk from work for Taco Bell. Really? Is it that bad? Why is it so popular? I uh, need to make some food and sort some stuff in the house. We'll leave a look. Don't no worries, Dragon. Well, thank you very much for coming by, dude. Thank you very much for the, uh, the raid. I hope you have a delightful day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to start. I'm Kara Watts. It's all in me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Ooh, dear. Um, 
<laughs> you will do no such thing. Oh, it is, it is worth the walk. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's nice, but still trash. What kind of like, kind of like like a lot of kebabs. Like even though kebabs can be tasty, you kind of know kebabs aren't the best, but they're still good. You know, and every now and then you just kind of you just fancy a kebab. You know, this prick, man. He's regenerating like a dickhead. Stop regenerating, it's rude! Oh, I'm nearly dead, but... <laughs> just there we go. Oh, and that was a hiss warped thing, so I got another challenge done as well. Kush dear. What's this one? Dodge efficiency level 2. Ooh. Power punch! That didn't freeze the game this time, sweet. The healthier options. Oh, what, the power ones? The healthier options? I love that shit. It's like when, um, I remember when, uh, like, I think there's a few of us that are probably old enough to remember when McDonald's didn't do salad. I'm pretty sure they only brought salad in because too many people kept being like, ah, it's unhealthy. But it just, that always annoyed me because it's like, who the fuck ever went into McDonald's trying to get healthy food? Like, come on. <laughs> it's like, uh, when people moan that there's no vegetarian options in KFC, it's literally got the name chicken in it. You know, come on. <laughs> Yeah, McDonald's versus a restaurant burger. Yeah, McDonald's burgers are an entity to their own. Like, they're not burgers. Like, if in, in relation to an actual burger, McDonald's burgers are fucking dire. Like, what the hell are they, dude? What the hell do they even look like, you know? But McDonald's burgers are their own thing, and they're still banging. But they're their own thing. Like, I'd never say, like, oh, I really fancy a good burger. I'm going McDonald's. You know, I'd just be like, I fancy McDonald's. Or a good burger, in which case I'd go somewhere else, you know? Even like, even Burger King, there's, there's very few Burger Kings around now, but like, they're way better. Their burgers are way better than McDonald's. And you kind of, you still class Burger King as burgers, whereas McDonald's is just McDonald's, not burgers, yeah. But I found out that uh, bat thing that throws you up to do a 90%, uh, that throws up on you, do a 90% health on hit. Fuck. Okay, that's crazy. No burger will depend on once you make yourself and grill, especially when you uh, set the lean fat ratio. Yeah, see... I, I, I'm not a good cook, mainly because um, I have this thing, like, uh, I've had it my whole life, where I've just been, like, really fucking lazy, you know? Um, so, like, there's stuff I want, like, oh, man, yeah, homemade burger with some, like, cheese already in the middle that, you know, you bite into and it melts from the middle and shit, you know, I do all that, it sounds banging, but then when it gets to me wanting to do it, I'm like, but my kitchen's over there, you know? But, um... Yeah, homemade, home, actual homemade ones, like, if other people are making them, are amazing, man. And it's all about, like, as far as burger places go, it's usually always about that, like, small burger place. That there's, like, always, like, one or two burger places around you that, like, they're not, like, big name. They're not known that well, but you buy them, and you're like, these burgers are fucking legit. I found this one place recently, right? It puts, like, uh, you can get, like, it doesn't have many burgers. Like, it only has, like, four or five, maybe, like... I think it has like four beef and like four chicken, like not many burgers, but like one of the burgers is like this big fuck off juicy burger with like a uh, barbecue brisket and shit in it. Um, and like, don't get me wrong, it's dripping when it gets to you, like the bread is so soggy, but god damn is it tasty. And they do another one with like a big fuck off mac and cheese patty in there on top of the other patty. Man, that place is so good, but just like by the time you get it, because if you eat your takeaway, by the time you get it, it's just dripping with grease, but... Fuck it, you know. <laughs> uh, the Volcano Burrito Taco Bell is well nice, but it's rubbish compared to a burrito from a proper burrito place. Yeah, see, I have there is one Mexican place near me, but their their tacos were shit and overpriced. Whereas their chimichangas are like the best like chimichangas I've had. Like it's just all meat and cheese inside. They put the rice on the side. Like chimichangas usually have the rice and beans inside. They put that shit on the side. You have just a full on basically like a big fuck of burrito about that big, the girth like that. Filled with like uh, just minced cheese and shit, you know, and onion and all that good stuff, um, and then just deep fat fried. Oh my god, it's so good! It's so good. <laughs> Take the gherkin off and it's a cake. Isn't that isn't that like legally or something? Isn't it basically? Or was it no? Subway had their bread couldn't be legally called bread for a while, right? It was like technically more like a cake or some shit. Talk about it was basically the mix of McDonald's. Okay, right, fair, <laughs> really tasty, um, but trash when compared to the actual real thing. Fair. Uh, get the stuff and you'll cook on Fridays. All right, I can dig that. Yeah, I can dig it. 
<laughs> you know, you like you like to grill smoked meats. Yeah, see, I should five burgers, five burgers, five guys burgers are fucking awesome. But again, they're quite far away. Like, it's only if I'm going to a town that already has a five guys in that I'm going to get five guys. Really, they're a bit pricey as well. But yeah, fuck me, it's the chips though. The chips at Five Guys are the one. Like, it's so good. They're what's it? They're Cayenne chips, I think it is. So fucking good. Um, also, like, I like basically as well. Beaver, like, I, I like uh. I uh, moved into like this place I'm living now, like uh, just under two years ago now. And uh, before that, I didn't have a garden for like fucking ten years. So this is the first time I've ever had a garden again. And I've got a little, I got a little barbecue, but I've not yet used it. But I probably will be using it fairly soon. So maybe I should get on it. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should like proper marinate and prepare some stuff rather than just buying like, hey, I'll get some sausages from Tesco and uh, we'll be good. How the fuck do I get into this next room? Oh, I'm not even. Don't go through. No wait, the stairs down there. Oh no, it's this door, isn't it? That, yeah. Okay, right, so I've got to go through security to get there. Right, okay. I'm a learner. Um, back that way. And then... Forward a bit more and then right. Whee! Uh... Let me just check, I think I missed something. Um, Taco Bell burritos are not girthy at all. Oh, really? Ah, oh, that's a shame, man. Yeah, you want you want those tacos, uh, those burritos to be fucking donk, you know, proper tonk. I, I found recently, like, um, like my brother, my older brother, he comes around like most like uh, most Tuesdays kind of thing, um, and we usually you know get take out and watch dumb shit. But like, um, uh, recently found this place that did really banging shawarma, and when the shawarma came. I was looking at it, I was like, man, this looks like thin. You know, this doesn't, I was like, this doesn't look like a fat shawarma at all. But Jesus, so thinning. Like, once you actually got to it, like, the bread was so nice and fluffy. The meat was just, like, you know, perfect, man. It was too good. Uh, hey, Nakani, how you doing, my man? Get me a ticket and I'll join you guys for dinner. For real, okay. Well, you don't live in England. Even in England, that could be an expensive ticket. If you, if you pay for your ticket here... I might let you in my house to eat. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. Over here. Oops, shit. Five Guys chips. Oh, too good. Too fucking good. I'm not sure if you were learning in the stream last night. Um, oh, lurking. I was going to say, I definitely didn't learn shit. Um, was I like? Oh, I might have... Um, I don't think I was watching last night, but I, if I was around, I might have opened up your stream and just left a lurk. Like, if I see people are streaming, um, like, whilst I'm doing stuff that's not, like, if I'm not rendering and shit that's video intensive, if I see people just, like, streaming, I'll sometimes try and put a lurk on and stuff. Um, so I may have been lurking. I don't remember, like, intentionally watching any, but how, how was it? What were you up to last night? I was like, um, oh, yeah, no, because I, I was actually on, I was on for way longer last night than I intended. The last couple of times I've been on there. Uh, I've been on there, I've been like, I'm just going to go in for a quick bit, actually. And then, like, it's like two and a half hours before I've even got to doing what, like, I'll, my plan was for the day kind of thing. How the fuck do I get in here? It's like this building's a maze! So it was, def it was definitely here. I don't go that far. Fly, fly. Ooh. Oh, this was the wrong way. Also, Beaver Dude, do you um do you uh stream yourself? Cause I don't I don't think I've caught you streaming, but um Oh hello. There's a ping on there. But I'll be down to watch your actions as uh, as Ralphie and that. Ah, uh, okay, I think this is the right way, sweet, okay. But okay, stream readers is ready quickly, so we'll do that as well. Um boom. Four troops, <laughs> let's do this. This is gonna be savage. How many people? Well, how many people are we fighting? Me and Amai. We got this, Amai. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> so we're only fighting five. Have we already lost? Oh, no. There's all Mighty's people there. My people are dead, though, for sure. Okay. It's down from my. Oh, yeah. Mine guy's a balloon buster, so he'll only. He just, he just fucked up the dinosaur, I guess. 2v2 now, though. Oh, shit. We got this. We got this, Amai. You got this, baby. <laughs> yeah, boy. GG. See who needs anyone else. And am I? You, you can take that.
Yeah. Remember today, yeah. little brother. <laughs> and it might be me. My life is good. And I don't suck because I had you on my team on my yeah. But okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna lay down some new carpet here. Yep. Um. Which one of these tank? You have armor, right? Okay, get your troops down. Um, do, 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 do. you was working on the radial menu. Ah, okay. Like, um, which particular one? Like, like the work menu type thing? Um, like the tilde muscle one, or um, yeah, was it like the tilde muscle one, or like the weapon wheel? Wait, do we have a weapon wheel? I don't ever use weapon. No, we don't, do we? No, 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 because you just use your inventory. Oh, I can't actually go in there. Hairy muff. In all honesty, I think I think the shotgun has got a better range than the pistol. Yeah, the shot somehow the shotgun's got better range than the normal pistol. Maybe it's just better improved, but like it's still way more damage. <laughs> I'm gonna just swap out that pistol, I think, because it seems that oh, it's one of these pricks. Oh, I never updated the challenges either. Shit. Jeez. Oh, and what are you doing up there? Oh, I hate these ones as well. They just dart about and shit. Is someone else hitting me? Like, oh, is it because I'm near that red wall that is getting a bit weird? Ow! There we go. I want to go over there for the powers. Whoa. Oh! That corridor looks a bit weird to me. Um, slam dunk. Okay. Well, let's check down here first, I guess, whilst the room's still fairly level. The thing is, now I don't know which way I'm meant to go, and I want to avoid the correct way to find the other ways quick. I also don't really want to miss out on that cool ass, like, rotating room up here. Get him. Jesus! Just <laughs> Now we got it. I feel comfortable coming this way. I have no tea left. Savage. Give me that. Okay, cool. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. A we coat. need to find that projector. Jesse Faden. That's me, right? Oh, shit. I was too late loading it. Fuck it. <laughs> hey! I've actually got a new fucking outfit! Jesus Christ. <laughs> we used to play there all the time. That's us. 
me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. Did I just set an alarm off? We found a way in. Deeper into it. Like, it had shifted. Hey, that's me. We went inside and that's where we found the spike. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. No. Yeah. Lost it, say. Yes, but that has nothing okay, nothing more. Okay, cool, cool. Slide projector at your home when you were small. No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other. Get him. Turntable? Oh, shit. I studied what happened in Let's ordinary get here. Ordinary Alan Wake experience. Let's go. Looking. Pin and House Kids was based on a real thing. Oh, really? Hey, and Kyle BB. Hey, dear, my man. You enjoy your lurk, dude. Well, is the Fresh Old Kid based on, like, the Cabbage Patch Kids? Is that what you mean? Like, it's based on, like... Or do you mean there was genuinely, like, a fucked up thing like it? Because it looks like the Cabbage Patch Kids, but I always thought that was the idea. Like, something along, like, you know, just shitty old puppets kind of thing. Good job, buddy. Oh, he's dead. Just gonna give him a promotion too. Channel zero or something. Oh, okay. Um mm, okay, I'll have to check it out. Fresh old kids <laughs> fresh old kids seems fun, man. Launch efficiency. I've got too many mods at the moment, haven't I? Um yeah. These will do different stuff now. It's it's not fair. <laughs> okay. Okay, ammo efficiency. That's pretty good to be fair, but Wait, hold up. Can I put... Oh, I can put a third one in now. I've just been not paying attention to any of this. <laughs> she. Right, let's get rid of some of these first. Then. Oh, shit. Uh, I just want to do that so we can get rid of that, because that one's way stronger anyway. Okay, so what have we actually got? So, health recovery per elemental pickup. Um, so accelerator health, just 20%. I think the health recovery per pickup, even though it's a level 1, that's still pretty decent, right? More energy, more recovery speed, more evade energy cost, more shield strength. So then this one was shield thing, so I don't really use the shield much, okay. Um Candle Cove Why why have you <laughs> I don't get it. Why have you shouted Candle Cove? Oh that's the show, that's the show. Right, okay, that makes sense. Alright, let me actually quickly load that up. I'll search for Candle Cove now so I can try and watch it later. Okay. Candle Cove is an online creepypasta horror story written by web cartoonist and author Chris Straub in 2009. It's sentenced on a fictional television series titled Candle Cove that can only be viewed by a small group of people, predominantly children, who later record a disturbing show on a web forum. Sounds good. I'll watch it after stream. <laughs> and then that moved into Channel Zero. Okay, cool. Oh, and that's a... Uh... Hey, sweet. I can just watch that straight away. Don't you? Beautiful. Cool. Uh, if I remember, I'll put that trailer on like after uh, we've done more of this. <laughs> Um, 
Seize speed up to 71%. Maybe I should go for that. I have started seizing them. Like they were fucking days. Or energy recovery speed is actually a really good one too. Okay, I'm going to do sea speed on that one. And then we can either have a level 4 launch energy cost or a level 4 energy recovery speed. I think I'm going to go for this one because I can't be bothered to do maths and I just assume that one's going to be better now. Cool. Oh, actually, hang on. While we're doing that, we, sh we should change the guns up a bit. Wait, did I miss a personal mod? Um, so maybe it's just this weapon's got a shit thing on it. So, ammo cost per shot, minus 16%, and a higher rate of fire. Maybe do that one. But I'm still thinking of maybe changing that over to a different gun. Um, I mean, I, I quite like... I think the Shatter's been the best one so far. Maybe Charge I should put as my other one, because then you can. it's almost like a mini grenade of sorts in it. So I don't really give a shit about recoil, so let's actually change that. Rate of fire on. I'm on shatter shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, that would be a good one. I mean, charge. What have we got on that one? Projectile speed. So, accuracy. Damage while low on health. Ooh. That could be good. Yeah, let's get that one. Where's my bitches? Where's my bitches? Where's my bitches? Where's my bitches? You see it together. It goes in together. Where's my bitches? Okay, check this out. Where my bitches? Can we just say in five? What? Hey, your treasure. Thank you. I appreciate that. Huh. Doesn't look good in there. I'm gonna have to go in there, aren't I? Alright. Where am I, employees? <laughs> this bin looks better over there. Ow! The fuck? <laughs> Son of a bitch! How's a dickhead in the elevator? And I'll just throw him bins around. Yo, check this out. Where my bitches? <laughs> candidates. Experiments. Yeah. I mean, did you just think most people can power punch? I'm still going to the. Yeah, I'm still going that way, but I don't know if I'm going the right way. I think I have to get up into that central bit, and then maybe I can go into. The Maybe we can then come off from there. This bit looks red. Red's usually not great for, for us. Stop shooting each other, go save me. Good, good, good. I feel good, just wonderful, good. Um, so there's gonna have to be a save point here, right? Yeah, there is. Oh, fucking hell, that made me jump! <laughs> okay. Easiest way to redecorate. I'm not being funny though, like, NYC Subway? What the fuck? Um, like, this is the, uh, what's it, FBU's building or whatever. But, um, I kind of like it better when it's red and jaggedy. Like, this is a boring, soulless building, you know? Never gone away. Never gone back again. Oh, damn, dodge efficiency level 5. That's pretty crazy. Um, 
So kill them in the maintenance sector, kill them in the research sector, history in the insective sector. Are we in the ex No, no, we're in containment and stuff. Can use an executive sensor with headshots. Use some pierce. Alright, we'll do that one. Because, um. I haven't used pierce too much. Oh, and I can upgrade pierce as well. Okay, cool. Alright, let's let's put Piercy on. Yeah, little Pierce and old. Okay. So we'll change charge to Pierce. Pierce can have two as well, that's pretty sick. So I've already got zoom. I think that's probably a good one to keep actually. Um so then I can do accuracy or headshot damage. Let's go headshot damage. Yeah. Cool. Now there was a, a shelter or something. Huh. Yeah, I'll come back to that room. <laughs> Is that room going to go that way actually though? Yeah, okay, so maybe... Yeah, that room is its own little room. Alright, let's have a quick look then. Is it FBC? I always forget what they're actually called. Oh shit. But the FBC won't let me be. So this looks like a job for me. So everybody, just follow me. Because I need a little controversy. And it feels so empty without trees. You know, trees make up a world. Um, What do they want? What do you want in here? Because I can't go... Wait, if I do this, does that stop it? No, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't, no. Well, fuck that room. <laughs> There's probably nothing in it anyway. Shit, I let go too early. Ow, motherfucker! I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Sitzdale. <laughs> oh, it's one of these prick heads. Also, yeah, Mojo, you you know um you know Matty P, obviously. I don't know if you've been to his stream, but like um like you know cameo and shit. Like a bunch of uh, people got the uh, dude who does the voice of him to do uh like uh my name's Commander Shepard and this is my favorite stream on Twitch type thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you go Matty's channel much potentially, but like uh I know you'd definitely dig that if you heard it for sure. <laughs> hey now, hey dude, dude, you're gonna need more on bigger rocks. Uh, where we're going. We don't need ro rocks. Oh shit, that's got the little matey down there, innit? Ooh. Fly, fly. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Nope. Not nearby. Okay, so I actually. Like, uh, before, like, I know I'm meant to do stuff in this room, but I also want to get into the room right opposite me so I can, um, go get that paper lantern. I'm guessing I might need to turn these before I can do that. Oh, there's a button down there. Sterling. Okay. Ordinary dump site. That's the most suspicious thing I've heard in this entire game. Ordinary dump site. Um. Oh 
I'm kind of assuming it would be down here, somewhere near this dude, because... Otherwise this guy can just never get too close to me anyway, look, see? Ah, bridge operator. That's probably where I need to go. Oh. <laughs> Let's just leave him alone for a bit. <clears throat> Lantern is available after doing a quest with clocks. Ah, okay. Right, okay, definitely haven't done that yet. Thank you. Power punch. I believe it's a side quest. Oh, the clock one's a side quest. Okay. Work chat. Teeth. Bridge alignment required. Bri keep tracks it. clear at all times. Yeah, I think Something I need to... Yeah, no. That sign like, made me think that was probably going to happen. It's not that butthead. Oh, is it that? There we go. And I already got one on the other side, so that's good. <laughs> Can I die here? It's not going to, like, pull a flap over to, like, secure itself, is it? I don't think it will. It's fun turntabling. So, um, I should really just be focusing on the other mission, I guess, then for now. So, oh yeah, I still need to do the record one, yeah. So, I am currently actually doing this one. That's our control room, cool. Oh, yeah, I thought I saw something. That's on the other side of the wall, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm probably going to go down there. Whoa! Oh, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, flaps open and shit. I like how once she's grabbed something with her power, you know, it then become she can just hold it forever. Oh, it's an invisible fucker in it. Fuck. Fuck, man, this one's the worst. Well, that's the best I've ever fought one of those. Usually it's a lot more difficult. <laughs> I think it was just in more of a confined space. So it was maybe easier to get him. Have I died yet? Never. Not even not even once, you know. But, uh, no death run, you know. That's how, that's how I do stuff. Always and forever. They've gone only went up to 999. <laughs> Yeah, basically it just takes out, I think, yeah, 90% of whatever the fucking health you got. It's crazy though, man. It's so, so powerful, that thing. Hey, helicopter. Oh, one of these, eh? I'm gonna shove that in that hole. Yeah, I did that. That was me. Oh, Watson. Come 
with me. So now I need one more for this one around the corner, I believe. Was there another one on that side as well in that case? They've been pretty symmetrical so far. I don't think so. Ah, there's the other one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kenobi. Sweet. <clears throat> hey, a box. Get out of my way. Ah, that put it more in my way. That was my fault. What is this room even? It's quite, you know. What a wasted room. So much space. Jesus, what the hell was that? Like some giant energy blast at me. Was that just a missile I missed or some shit? Ah, oh, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, not dead at all, yeah. Not dead at all. That was a power nap. EMS will recover me. It's fine. Technically. Technically, I haven't died. Otherwise, it'd be game over, right? I know you'd agree with that wholeheartedly. And oh shit, Jimmy baby! 33 months now! God damn boy! <laughs> Thank you very much there, Jimmy dude! That's, that's super nice of you, man. Tax and Mika. <laughs> damn, 33 months. You have now you've subscribed for every for every year I've been alive, you've subscribed for a month now, basically. That's sick. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, Jimmy Dude. That is that is super nice of you, my man. And how are you doing today, man? Again, people that have kept up like these crazy long streaks. Thank you so much. You're such beautiful people. Like for 33 months, that's crazy. In the best ways. Would leave, but it's against the rule of the social club. It's not a cult, it's a social club. Sexy social club. <laughs> you don't explain it, just learning some mixing and mastering. Nice, fucking A. Man, out of all, like, I, I quite often will keep trying to, like, learn new stuff. And every time I, like, try, I, I do, like, I do always make, see an improvement. But I, I fucking hate it. I, I hate mixing and mastering so much. Like, when you get it right, it sounds beautiful, but yeah, there's so much to it. <laughs> How's it coming along? Because you're like, your, uh, your stuff already sounded pretty fucking uh, clean, you know? So I'll be well interested to see like, if uh, you're taking that up like another level. She went through those tables. She didn't even break. Oh, she broke them on that one. The first time she went through them, she didn't break them, which made me think like, oh, does she like actually remove herself from like time and space for a man? That's pretty cool. 
Let's make it a bit easier to get into that room for later. Oh, it's looking pretty clean down here. Ordinary Ore. Yeah, which stands for Alan Wake Experience. Not Altered World. Uh, oh, wait, no, where was it? Altered World Event. Yeah, that was it. I uh, learned some small things here and there. If you need uh, someone to mix and master, yeah, but okay, may well do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm awful at it. I always go for it because, you know, it's easier just to, like, try and get stuff done yourself sometimes, but I may well call upon you at some point. <laughs> okay, we are going hard on this one. 11 allies. Some eggs. Let's do it. Set the little rogues freeing all our little dinosaur buddies. What are these ones called? These are the ones that in Jurassic Park it got that like uh, greasy dude, right? Oh, we got a fucking T Rex motherfucker too. All against this one orc. <laughs> it's just bullying, really, at the end of it, you know? Okay, GG. Well done, everybody. And the winner is Almighty. Okay, final boss battle. Five skulls. They said we couldn't do it, but we're here, so let's do this. Let's do this in style. I'm gonna get that. That's cool. All right, get your troops in, guys, and let's get back to control. Excuse me. Um, do you know where the ladies' toilets are? I guess that's useful. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years. Oh, that's just music, isn't it? That one, okay. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces in true <laughs> in the form of New mouth. world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life. Give me a new nose now. Urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system. We can change the likelihood of something. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just by thinking about it. That's cool. I was hoping that might happen. Found a method to control the outcome, and yet there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the with our minds. What's the cause? And what's the effect? Are we Ooh. starting for Yeah, that's it. We just carry it around with us while we search. A byproduct. A reflection. A projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Saying. What are you saying? Oh, it's just a control point. <laughs> I thought it was an extra enemy. Annual evaluation of Doom by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the journalist's second This is a cool one. Usually it's just like right in the middle of the room. This one's actually like partly on the wall. That's cool. Colonel Sanders <laughs> looks like Trotsky as well. <laughs> you can see that. Oh, I can upgrade Shatter. Yeah, let's go. You my boy, Shatter. Okay, so we can put another one on here now. Beautiful. Um, exclusive Shatter recoil. I mean, it's level five. So it might be worth keeping. 
Yeah, fuck it. We'll go for that. Now they can't see us. I learned that from Resident Evil. Well, I learned that from watching Bakura play Resident Evil. <laughs> Let's see what they have on ordinary. Oh, it's a little house. Oh, it's a whole little city. Oh, here. Oh, this is her home. Our school, the woods, the dump. Even the old gunshot house. It's right there. I'm a giant now. <laughs> Fuck you, little car. <laughs> Fuck you, tree that I could never piss on as a lady. I assume this is the mission, right? Oh, I can actually destroy some of these houses. Oh, shit. Oh shit, that one got obliterated. This should be the whole game. <laughs> it's like Rampage, but with superpowers. Will the building collapse on itself if I shoot the bottom out, or will it stay floating in midair? Let's see. <laughs> just gotta wait for my ammo to recharge. Oh, and it did fall over. It just needed that last little help in the leg. That's pretty cool. Oh shit! And I can lift this whole thing up now that now that I've. Taking it away from the floor, I can lift the whole thing up. It's going to be real hard for them to study my home now. Because I just destroyed where I live. Cool. That was a fun level. <laughs> ah! All right. Oh, come on. Now I don't have anything to throw. <laughs> this, yeah, this would have been a good fight throughout the little city, actually. If you like, Kara. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small, like a miniature. That's actually quite true. Anytime I've gone back to my old like childhood house or like around that area, I'm just like, yeah, man, it always seems like way small now. It's probably because. Well, I was going to say because of taller now, but actually, no. Nah, I'd pretty much finished growing by the time I'd left that town. Physically, you know. Mentally, I kind of aged the other way. You mentioned a poem last time. Yeah, I did. By Thomas Day? Yes. Yes. Hmm. All right. There's yep. This is definitely one of those altered items. <laughs> Maybe it's the cellophane. Maybe the town shrunk. That's a good point. By the way, have you been doing 
main mission stuff while having side missions up. Sometimes, but at the moment I have the main mission up, I believe. Don't I not? I don't keep showing new stuff, like, um... Yeah. Oh, no, uh, this is what I'm on. Yeah, okay, so I'm still showing that, yeah, when I'm doing this one. Oh, that was actually, uh... This was a side mission. Okay, I thought this was the main mission. Where is that, actually? Oh, it's nowhere near here. So we may as well carry on with this mission now. Yeah, I'm way far away on this one. Okay. Well, I'm already here. We might as well change. Yeah, I might as well go to uh, the main mission since we're actually right here at the moment. I didn't realise the mirror one was a side one. Oh, I did kind of want to do that one. I just thought that was uh, where I was heading. Okay. We moved the whole landfill here in wow. the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty oh. unbelievable. Why would you bring a landfill? That just seems silly. Hey, our old sofa! Over in here. Yeah, there we go. Album cover! Oh shit! Didn't see that bastard. Didn't know I need to get out of this corner. Ow! Watch some popcorn flick about a giant shark last night called the Meg. Oh, I've heard of that. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I have heard of that. There was someone else in it, right? I had Dwight in it, okay. I had, um... I was like Jason Statham or someone as well in it, like one of those type of actors. Okay. So we could actually try and go to the mirror one quick that I was going to do, because we can always just fast track back here. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, let's go do that one quick. Um, and it was Jason Statham. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've heard it's one of those films that, like, is terrible, but can be quite fun in its terribleness. What did you think, though? You did say it was shit. So, <laughs> it was about what you'd expect from one of his shitty action films. All right, fair. Yeah, 